Hello, this is Preston Salem with Home Inspection Carolina. Today I want to show you the difference between a, a swarmer termite and an ant. Um, I actually have some swarmer termites here. I'm not sure this thing will focus in. Um, this is a swarmer termite right here. I uh, actually got a whole bag full of them. Uh, it's collected at a house. Um, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, it's collected March 20th. We got a little bit of warm weather, and uh, this is the back of the house, the sunroom. Swarmer termites started swarming, and you know there's a lot of confusion or uh, difference. Are people you know ants? They're swarming ants and swarming termites. So uh, I want to show you. This is an actual swarmer termite. Uh, one of the big differences is you notice the wings are you know way bigger than the body, almost three times probably the size of the body, um, and, and several of the wings that fall off. Uh, you get swarmer termites um, first couple of warm days you get, especially after a rain. Uh, usually in the spring, you might get them again in the fall. Um, what they're trying to do is to create a new colony. But we get calls all the time to have termites or I have ants. Um, I wish I had a microscope here where we could look at these a little better. That's actual swarmer termites. But let me show you what this looks like. Um, that's a swarmer termite. That's a swarmer ant. Uh, we'll start from the top to the bottom. Uh, the biggest difference is the wings, but we'll get to that in just a second. Uh, termite, see how the wing, the uh, antenna, let's start with the antenna. The antenna is just curved, okay? It's just curved, but there's no right angle. Antenna on an ant has 90 degree angle. You see that? Okay, now let's move to the body. All insects have three body parts, but a termite has a very wide waist or, ab, you know, so the abdomen, it almost looks like two where an ant is very distinct, three body parts, you know, shaped like a Coca-Cola bottle. So you have very three, three very distinct body parts. Notice that? Okay. Now, let's go to the wings. Uh, they both have uh, four wings, or two sets of wings. Termites, all four are the same size, and they're very venous. Um, and they're about three times the size of the body. See, the body stops right there, and then the wings go on. Now, on a flying ant, they're just a little bit longer than the body, but not nearly three times the size of the body. When they fold back, they'll just barely go past the body. Termites way past the body. So, let's look down here. Let's see if I can get one out. Kind of mixed in. See how those wings go way past the body? Man, I wish I had a better camera. Um, I apologize to all you guys out there. But, um... That's definitely a swarmer termite. Looks like two body parts. The wings are way longer than the body, and the antenna is does not have a. It's just curved, but it does not have a ninety degree angle. But uh, again, if you get swarm something that looks like swarming ant termite in your house, look closely at it. The biggest telltale sign will be if those wings are like three times the size of the body. You probably got termites. Um, they're just barely bigger than the body, and the back set of wings are smaller than the front set ants. Um, you can go a little bit further and say, you know, three distinct body parts, ants. Three body parts, but looks like two termites. And 90 degree angle on the antenna, ants. No 90 degree angle, just curved to be termites. Um, ants, not a big deal. Um, termites, a uh, pretty big deal. Gonna have to get that treated. Alright, this is Preston Salem with Home Inspection Carolina. Thank you for your time.